Hey Wildcats, I'm Jesus. Angleton High School has a wide variety of career pathways in our CTE program. That's career technical education. Check out these videos. Fashion to me is the ability to showcase who you are through what you wear or who wears you. What fashion means to me is like I can bring creativity and like uniqueness to the table. Like I love making my own fashion and I, I like spreading my ideas out to the world. For example, if you make a gown and somebody famous ends up wearing it on the red carpet and they say, hey, this is my designer, that makes you feel like you've done something. And in fashion, you have the ability to be somebody and to do things. And I like to bring people together and like make everybody feel like fashion is like not branded or like you can't fit in with nobody. I want to make fashion to the point where everybody can wear what they want to wear. And not only does it allow you to express yourself, but it allows you to display a form of art where you're forcing people to see it. It's not like they have to go to the gallery. They have no choice but to see you and see what you do. And to me, what this class has opened up to me is that no matter what you wear or what brand you wear, you still feel like you're at home. You feel comfortable because fashion is fashion and your, that's your style, that's, no, that's something that nobody's going to take away from you. Fashion to me means imagination. Fashion to me, well, fashion is a legacy for all of us. It's a way to express yourself and who you are. Diversity. Idealistic. Creativity. Individuality. Identity. Fashion has no rules, it has no boundaries. You can express yourself however you want. Um, and the students really enjoy getting to just express themselves through their clothing, through their drawings, and just getting to know each other in their personal style. When signing up for classes and wanting to become a future teacher, which CTE pathway should I take? Um, if you want to be a teacher, you should take the education and training pathway. And coming in your freshman year, you would take principles of education, then you would take human growth and development your sophomore year, and then your junior and senior years, you would take instructional practices and practicum. Is this pathway only for future teachers? No, this pathway can be for if you want to be a coach, a music teacher, an administrator, principal, anything in the education field, this pathway will help you. But also if you want to be, if you want to train like out at Dow or teach people to do a certain trade, this class will also help you with that. Is there an organization or club that goes along with this pathway? Yes, we have Taffy. It's a Texas Association of Future Educators. In Taffy, we go to competition, we make scrapbooks, there's impromptu speaking, impromptu lesson planning. And Taffy, you can do it with your friends. You just go to competition, and then we have state and nationals. You can get a cord if you make it to nationals, and a letterman in two years in Taffy. All right, we're here with two students from Money Matters class, and we got some questions for them. So what do y'all do in this class? We learn about <laughs> financial decisions and the best ones to make, like, um, saving up for the future in college and paying cash for your car. Uh, what we do in this class, we just basically learn the steps to be a right entrepreneur and how to make it in the business world. A teenager coming out of high school is basically, you're working, trying to save up, buy a car, go to college. So why'd you decide to take this class? Well, because I was trying to um, get prepared for the real world and uh, financial matters whenever I get older. Um, you should take this class if you don't want to be like in debt like most people's parents are and stuff and become like uh, graduate from college without debt. Uh, we just learn the steps to get to like our BMC which is an ideal map for our product to list our problems and our prices and uh, profit. So what would you say to the other students on like why they should join this class? Uh, this is an excellent program and I feel like if you want to make money and make a business and make it in the business world, I suggest you choose this class. Um, it'll give you the right steps to lead you to where you want to be in life. In this class, you have the ability to connect other courses that our school offers in order to pursue a business career. I want my own clothing line and I'm able to learn about the different product development things that go into making that happen. So how have you like grown as a person in this class? Like, What have you learned? I would say, more than anything, I learned more about myself. Like, I learned that I kind of had this idea beforehand, but I really 
realized that it's hard for me to work with groups and I always consider myself a very good team player but when you're in a real life business and it's not just like a normal school project when there's really things on the line like real money and real time and effort you realize that you have to take it more seriously and people are going to disagree and you're going to have issues but you have to put your pride aside and you have to learn that people are different and you have to make compromises and really make adult decisions because it's a real life program. Welcome to culinary. I want to be an executive chef and I want to go to college for culinary. Somewhere is in Houston. What brought me to the culinary was actually, you know, leading into my future career. I wanted to own my own restaurant, and I still do. I just always like to cook and uh, stuff like that, just throwing stuff together. At age 11, my mom started, like, helping me start to learn how to cook, and I just turned out to uh, love it and it turned into a passion. Well, in this class, you learn to sharpen your techniques when it comes to anything in cooking, baking, stovetop cooking. Just cooking stuff for like homemade meals and stuff like that for family. Making omelets, is, you just sharpen your skills. bunch of seasonings and knife cuts because you don't learn that just at home you can learn it here and progress more into a chef there you go I learned all my knife skills in this class it's pretty fun actually I think I want to be somewhere in the back kitchen cooking something and or like run my own business like later on Come up with new ideas, come up with a new menu each and every day. And like I said, just have fun. I want to own my own restaurant and be my own boss, basically. <laughs> I joined criminal justice because this is the career and path that I want to go on to. I really like learning about a lot of different aspects of criminal justice, um, not just the part that I want to go to, which is like being um, an attorney slash lawyer, but just like crime scene, um, the actual physical part of it, uh, felony traffic stop, it's a really great experience and a really great learning um, program, and I really love it. I joined mainly solely on the fact that I've been fascinated in law for quite a while and it was one of those things where when you join it, you not only learn the consequences of things, it's very interesting and I hope to pursue my career in becoming an employment lawyer. Hi, I'm Ms. Perrier and I'm in the Arts, AV and Communication Pathway in the Career and Technology Department. I teach graphic design, animation, and video game design. And I'm super excited that you're here today to see some of the students that are working in animation. Uh, they're working in um, Animate with Adobe, and some are working in Maya, and see the graphic design students working in Illustrator and Photoshop, and then our video game design students working in uh, the Unreal Engine. Hello, my name is Shannon McConkie, and I'm currently in Animation 1. I joined this class because I like animation well, itself, anime. I also enjoy drawing, making videos, stuff like that. So in this class, I really enjoy it because everyone's so nice. And you can do your own little projects time, add a little twist, your own originality into it. And it's all around, just a really fun class. Hi, I'm Kaylin. I'm in Advanced Graphic Design, and we're working in Illustrator. It's a good way to get your foot into a college, because if you go into it further, 
You can work with Baystar, which is a corporal company, and you can better yourself in life. But I really like it. It's really fun. You should join it if you like drawing, video, it all. It's good for all. Hi, my name is Ani Resendez. Um, my elective is considered to be graphic design. And honestly, I think any eighth grader should consider graphic design. It's an amazing elective. You do a lot of things. And right now, I'm on the subject of Photoshop. Photoshop is involved in a lot of things in the future, which is a whole career, um, career path. And honestly, it's a great thing, and I love it so much. And it's a way that you become very creative. My name is Aurelio. This is for um, the video game design. And I chose this because whenever, after high school and college, I want to go into creating video game design, any kind of games I want to create in case I want to go into like bigger things. We just create games through the lessons, learning how to do different blueprints and things. If you're interested in being in this pathway, all you have to do is take the principles of AV class and then you're free to enter any of these courses. Hi, I'm Jaden and this is AV in high school. Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm Zane. And this is Wildcat TV. Now here are some football highlights. Learn leadership skills by producing your own video projects. Work with a creative team and collaborate on fun projects. Hey guys, the project's done. Awesome. Build your future now. That's crazy. I know, right? That's all for now. See you next time. That video's going in my resume. Welcome to welding. Welding is about fusing metals together so you can build products. It's buildings, ships, cars. To me, welding is like a whole new form of art. Now, it's completely different than painting. Obviously, you know, all the painters did pretty good, but this is art that you can use. Through the fusing and uh, melting of two pieces of metal together, you can build anything that you see uh, throughout the world. Uh, the biggest thing I love about wanting is the fact that you can make projects, and you can accomplish, and you can make anything you want. You can fix a car. Welding allows me to express myself. Also, there's a lot of opportunities when it comes to welding, whether it's a hobby or a profession. Welders are in demand all over the world. There's a shortage of welders. You can make a decent amount of the money and support your family. You name it, if it's out of metal, you can do it. It's good money. Welding can take you all over the world and even submerge you in water. Auto shops, pipeline, uh, shipyards, industries, uh, companies, pretty much all over the world. It lets you be free with however you want to do whatever you want. Welder's wages depend on your certification. And most of the time it's like up to like $41,000 to over $100,000 a year. And it's just really fun to be able to do anything you put your mind to. Okay, we're both in vet med, so before you take this class, you have to do principles of ag and then livestock production. And we both show pigs, so this class is very beneficial. We learn how to restrain them, what kind of medicine to give them if they're sick, and we also learn that for cows, horses, sheep, and goats, and all of those other animals. This is a great class. You get to learn a lot of hands-on with the animals and how to take care of them. Very recommended. My name is Kilmenner and um, this is our range plot. We use this for wildlife class, range class, and livestock production. We use this to learn our different plants and the different parts of them. This is um, switchgrass. It's a bunch of grass and um, we learn the different parts and why, it's good, why it would be good for cattle or why it wouldn't be. Um, we have a dead western ragweed because of all of the cold weather. We have some new ones already coming up, so we can learn from early stages to late stages. We use this to train for competitions for range and wildlife. And uh, 
I like to do it because I have two cattle ranches and I want to learn how I can raise better cattle. Hi, my name is Caitlin Hackney and I'm an agriculture student at Angleton High School, as you can see. And I'm going to be talking to you about what we do in equine science. Here is one of our equine skulls we have. It's from a real horse and stuff. And with, with this, we can learn about the horse's age by looking at their teeth and seeing what teeth they have and the decay and everything about him. Um, and then you can also decide what type of bait you're going to use on this horse because our goal with horses, we don't eat them, we're not France. Um, it <laughs> is to eventually ride them and stuff. As you can see, we make our own bits and we also look at other examples of bits and bridles like this one right here, an old snaffle bit, very handy little bit. And we also learn about the nutrition of horses from like the different feeds and what that horse needs depending on its job and what you're doing with it to the different hays because they do need hay too. They need pasture or hay depending on what you're doing with your horse. Now I have an extreme passion for these horses because I do rodeo and I want to make equine all about equine my whole life. So thank you so much. Learn about all different types of animals and how to identify the animals. These are some different animal furs, like an Audad and an Axis. We learn about different wings for all different types of birds. I think that's a seagull, and I don't know what that one is. You learn how to age deer. Learn about different types of deer, Axis. You learn how to identify skulls by the width and the lines in their heads. Like these are all foxes. That's a pig. You also learn how to score deer, the G1s and the G2s and everything like that. In this class, you can get your hunter's safety. You can get your boating license also. You do a lot of, get to do a lot of cool stuff, learn about a lot of cool animals in this class. Hi, and welcome to the Department of Health Science. I'm Anna. And I'm Daniel. And in health science, you build your knowledge by having access to work and hands-on experience. Our department is broken up into three main groups. We have lecture, which everyone's working on now. It's a more book-oriented, where the teacher's actually teaching you stuff of just general medical knowledge. And then we have our skills-based learning, which is where you hone in a bunch of different techniques, be it temperature all the way to blood drawing and everything in between. And last but not least, clinicals, where we go off-site, off-campus to sites such as Dr. Miller's office, UTMB hospital, and local nursing homes. With the help of our community, they've made it possible for us to gain experience and further our education for our future. As mentioned before, we have skill-based learning. This is the lab where those things play, take place. From the beginning to your senior year, you're building up skills, perfecting older ones, and learning more advanced techniques. One of the more basic skills we have is our range of motion. It deals with basically physical therapy as well as helping people assist with crutches, canes, and reducing atrophy and just things of that nature. We also have our ADLs, which is just your basic life things you do be it using the restroom, brushing teeth, brushing hair, even as simple as just eating food. We also have vital signs, which is like what you think when you think of medical, from temperature, blood pressure, listening to the heart, listening to the lungs, just what you think when you hear medical. We also have CPR, which is one of our certifications we get every year we have a program, uh, like a week of training, and then you get CPR certified, and you can save lives. <laughs> We also have phlebotomy, which is included in our patient pair technician certification. It's basically drawing blood. We do clinical site drawing blood, as well as just practicing here in our lab. And then our final certification that we're working on right now is EKG. It's listening to the heart rhythm and finding out what's wrong with your heart. One other thing that we don't have right here now is our CNA program run by Ms. Mills. It's like, it's basically the same thing as a CPCT or patient pair technician, except they're more nursing home, nursing home oriented. And Schmervert, our lovely teacher, is our CPCT and EKG technician trainer. There are 10 pathways to choose from at Angleton High School. Nine you just saw in this video. There's also engineering and computer science. Sign up. Now's your chance to explore your future. We look forward to seeing you as an Angleton High School Wildcat.